Before the video, I would like to note some things that I left out. Uh, first and foremost, you really need to wear eye protection when using a Dremel, or preferably when fragging any corals at all. Uh, corals like Frogspawn are usually pretty forgiving in this regard, but it can still chip and get some pretty nasty bits in your eyes, so you definitely want to avoid that. Um, as well, diamond cutting discs are generally what I would use for cutting corals and are more preferable and clean. Um, the black reinforced discs that I show can be used, but they do tend to leave a mess of black dust that has to be cleaned from the coral. Uh, some corals react negatively to this dust, however, frog spawn is generally fine as long as they are cleaned after. Um, I generally find the Dremel method less stressful than cutting with bone cutters and pliers, and they're easier to mount because the cuts are cleaner. Um, so outside of that, I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to get started. So this is going to be fragging a piece of frog spawn using a Dremel. Uh, so you're going to want to use a clean cutting disc, so a new one. So it'll be one of these guys and this guy. I'm using my cheap knockoff Dremel for this one solely for the purpose of not wanting to get salt water on my expensive one. Um, basically, the biggest important thing about this is you wanting to cut the darkest area possible and leaving as much of the brightly colored flesh and don't go near the, uh, the very white pieces. So this darker colored piece is the, uh, the old growth. These little tiny branches, they're, they're technically the startings of a, um, new heads, but they'll quickly regrow and they're not terribly important to make note of. They're very easy to break off, so don't really bother with it. Um, so basically, you're going to have to use about a medium setting for speed, and we're going to just cut straight through this section here, and uh, just quickly try to cut off a chunk, and hope for the best. And there we go. We got a nice little frag piece. Uh, the corals are very pissed for the most part. And we do have to get them cleaned up, but they should be good overall. That just gotta mount those on a frag plug and you're good to go. Alright, so with these guys cut, I'm going to mount them on a uh, acrylic flag, frag plugs. I really like these um, eShops ones. They're fairly cheap to buy. I believe they're available on Amazon. Um, they look great. I find them a lot better than the ceramic ones. Um, and you need a gel super glue. So basically any gel one that is the cyanoacrylate um, is what you want and the gel just makes it a lot easier to apply. You can use the regular one, it's just a lot shittier. Um, okay. So we take the base of our now very pissed off coral, and clean off some of the crap. Okay, and just going to take the base of the coral, and you can see that I actually cut a little bit closer than I would have liked, uh, however it should still do fine. Um, I've had success cutting it this way before, it's never really caused many issues. So I'm just going to want to take the frag plug, put a generous amount of the glue on it. like so, and just going to squash it down onto it, and avoid as best as I can getting it on my hands. 
and when it starts to dry a little bit, just give it a dip down in the water as that helps it set, and then just let it go. And now I'm going to do the same with the other one. This one's going to be a little bit trickier to frag, however it should still be fine. So the same story with that guy. I'm going to use a little bit more glue with this one just because it's a bit more of an awkward shape. And just going to, again, stick it straight onto the bottom and just hold. And with this I'm actually going to fill in some of the gaps where I'm missing. And just got that there. And then just give it a dip. And just let that sit. And you can see this one's starting to dry down. And it's on there fairly solid. And this should come out to be a great frag. Um, this one's actually going to be traded, so. And it also helps free up some space in my tank. You definitely want to uh, empty out this water fairly soon um, and not leave them in it too, too long, just because um, when corals get pissed off, they don't tend to release the, na the nicest of things into the water. Um, so you want to get that finished, plus the little bits of the Dremel tool. Um, they tend to collect in there as well. So hopefully that's helpful, and hopefully you guys found that to be useful. So this is the following day. Um, just wanted to show you how the frags have improved. Uh, so you can already see that they're opening a nice bit. Uh, so this is this one here, and the second one there in the back. Um, so the two of them look great. Um, just kind of shows you why I like to use the uh, Dremel method. I find that when I uh, use the pliers to cut the um, the skeleton, they get a bit more stressed out and they don't open very well until a couple days. Um, but either way, you should still have some good success with it. So hopefully you found this helpful and stay tuned for more videos.